Hello, everybody. We're standing in front of a map of the United States right now. This map represents which states make their children say the Pledge of Allegiance and which states don't. Now, what I find most interesting about this map, I have to say, is that the more Republican states do not make their children say the Pledge of Allegiance, whereas the more liberal states have the schools have a time for it. They have to do it. So, what does this say? Well, it's very interesting. So what do you guys think about this controversial topic? Well, personally, I think we should all say it in school every single day because you're really not an American if you don't say a group of words or anything every day. I mean, country should not decide where, what country you live in. Are you saying it should be a law? that you have to say? I think they should force children every day. They do, in some states. Well, you see, the way I see it is that it was not originally written with the words under God in it. It was actually done by um, Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1954 in the during the Cold War to drive the communists or atheists out of the country. And anyways, you know, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of, uh, Declaration of Independence saying all men are created equal, but, you know, people have gone to court arguing should under God be it, right. so it's not really fair. Not all, not all men are created equal. And it is also against the First Amendment, yes. the law of church, church and state. state. Yeah, church and state, because the state here is represented by the school and the church is the church. <laughs> The under God in the, the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, yes. yes. But I think with the right to free speech comes the right to they and force them to say things that they don't want to say. Well, you see, some people are arguing it's unconstitutional. Because it is. Unconstitutional. But there are several stories against it. Like, there are some kids who have stand up for the rights and not said the Pledge of Allegiance and then been bullied by others. Those like I, unpatriotic children. I heard of this woman in Florida who was a teacher and she got suspended without pay because she forced a Jehovah's that Witness to. That is ridiculous. I do not believe that should have been done. Why not? That teacher should be given rewards. As a patriotic American. Well, you see, it's also against certain religions to pledge to or pray to a certain object. Like just atheists, and atheists believe in all God. In all God. And so, the atheists so don't have religion. no problem pledging to a, a God. They want to pledge to all the gods. I understand what you're talking about. Eighty percent of Americans are Christians. Well, then what better way than saying the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh, okay. Well, instead, to make it all fair for us, I think, well, this is what other things should be. Instead of the words, one, one nation under God, people have said liberty and justice for all, born and unborn, working towards the goals of equality, of opportunity, liberty, and justice for all. You know, others are feeling See us, that see us <laughs> next time on Controversial Topics. Hello, this is Jacob Malter here at Dumbarton Middle School interviewing their students on their opinions of the Pledge of Allegiance. I am here with Sophie Sorderberg today to interview her on her viewpoints. I think we shouldn't make kids say it because it's a religious... It's religious... Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Is God? No, no, you cannot make people say something they don't believe in. Thank you. I'm back at Dumbarton Middle School, live, as I said, the students have just said their pledge of the day. I am now going to talk to another student who asks to be anonymous. So, anonymous student, what is your opinion on saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I don't know. Okay, that's it's fine. It's fine. 
Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Cohen, live at Dumbarton Middle School. Today we have a very special guest. Come on. This is Jenny, guys. She is a student at Dumbarton Middle School. So what is your opinion on the words under God in the Pledge of Allegiance? I don't believe that they're wrong, but I also don't believe that they have any connection to the Pledge of Allegiance. I mean that it could be any either way. It doesn't matter. The words under God could be offensive to some people, but I don't believe that they're offensive enough that they should be taken out. Very interesting. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Um, I would like to say hi to my mom! Bye! Okay.